Hey fellas, today dealing with some gas lines. I had the gas company come out and pressure test this gas line here. It turns out uh, it has a really slow leak, you know. And then to them, if you lose a PSI over a half hour, you know that doesn't pass. So I'm going to show you how to kind of DIY pressure test it yourself without calling a plumber. If you know me, this is my DIY channel. I don't like paying people to do stuff. Um, and if, a legit like test kit where they take the gas meter off that's how they normally do they'll pull a gas meter off and test it there I don't know how much one of those costs but I assume a lot more than a tire inflator and that's what I'm gonna use let me show you hey guys first and foremost here I'm sorry for the terrible lighting uh, but let's get into this I got a T coming off of this gas line here and this is has a cap on it. just had a little nipple in the cap where you could kind of purge the line I got one on the furnace too usually most plumbers put something like that in it so you can purge the line so anywhere with a cap or somewhere you can get plug into, that's where I am at, that's where I'm going into. It's just got a half inch to a quarter inch reducer. And thankfully all this air compressor, tire inflator stuff you get at the store, Harbor Freight or whatever, it's all quarter inch thread, pipe thread. And this is just a tire inflator from Harbor Freight or Horrible Freight, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but this one does hold pressure, it does, does, uh, doesn't leak. And I got air compressor tied into it. We're gonna go ahead and pump it up. All right, so we're gonna pump this bad boy up. I don't know. You can go, you can actually go more than you think with these. I'm gonna go 20 or 30 PSI. Almost at 20 there. All right, sorry about that cut. The air compressor kicked on. I'm gonna go ahead and keep going up to about 30 PSI. And this is a lot higher than the gas company test it, but this this line should hold hold that. Should some people test it to 100 PSI? That's that's adventurous, but uh, looks like we're at 30 psi there and now if you don't know where your leaks at you just sit here and wait and see if that goes down over a period of time what I have here is some all-purpose leak detector now pretty much basically this is soap and water so you can just mix up some dish soap and water but it comes with this handy little applicator and anytime you see these these freaking liquid sealant used that's the first place I'm gonna look and what do you know you put that on there we got bubbles we got a lot of bubbles coming off of that obviously I have some leak issues going on here wherever whoever hooked up this water tank use some of this liquid crap um, I don't recommend ever using this liquid sealant however I do like the blue kind if you see the blue kind that stuff dries and it actually does seal this white stuff kind of pretty much stays pasty and it doesn't I don't know why they even sell it because it doesn't work alright and over here on the pressure meter I can see it already started to drop well, just a little bit from this little leak and of course this would not pass the gas test because it's pretty freaking stringent so you can't have any leaks at all this has got to get repaired this is a gas pipe tape this is what I prefer to use on this stuff it works really good don't use this liquid stuff so again just to recap I got a T where I'm getting into my whole gas system here I got a half inch a quarter inch reducer I got the quarter inch tire inflator plugged into that and we got an air compressor hose coming from an air compressor you do need an air compressor and you can charge it up from here works pretty great Nice, cheap way of uh, testing your gas line, guys. You don't need to call a plumber. All right, managed to get rid of that old pipe. Put a new, got a four inch nipple, gas shut off valve, three inch nipple, a uh, union, and a half inch pipe going down to the hot water tank. And this basement's a mess, but pass the pressure test with the gas company fix that up. Well I hope you find this video relatively useful because when I was looking around trying to figure out how I was going to do this and rack my brain on it uh, I didn't see anyone make a video like this showing you how to DIY it so hopefully this helps somebody. Leave some comments. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm always making videos like this whenever I run into problems in my life and things I gotta fix. It's a never-ending story, never-ending battle so hope you ha uh, have a good day.